me, that's probably the most effective back. Second and two for the Lions. The give again is to Joe Smith. Off the gut. And it looks like he'll have enough for the first down as the Lions now have been good on five of eight second down conversions. And Joe Smith with his fourth straight carry. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stay with it. They're picking up seven yards of crack on first down, running the ball with Joe Smith, and he's finishing off, the, getting the first down by picking it up. Now he's going to reach for that line, that first down line, trying to get it, but they're going to bring the sticks in the measure. I believe he got it. It's amazing when you look at Joe Smith's number. Mark, he's a 1,000-yard rusher, yet his longest run of the year is 38 yards, and he averages 5.7 yards a touch. I mean, he's just chewing up the yardage. Well, they take a measurement here. Let's go down and check in with Kahari Jones. Guys, I think we see clearly why this game is about offense, defense, and special teams. The special teams has really kept the BC Lions in this game in the first half and allowed them to do the things they want to do on offense, which is run Joe Smith. If not for those two special teams plays, the Ian Smart uh, run and uh, Baron Miles on the block, then they would have to get out of their comfort zone and use Jarius Jackson more. Yes, Mike Benavides, who coaches special teams for BC, has been a guru. Two key special teams plays. A new set of downs on the ground again. Joe Smith with a straight arm to Sean Lucas, but he can't get around the corner. Ontarius Robinson and Fred Perry helping to drive the big back out of bounds. And against this Saskatchewan defense, Joe Smith had his two lowest rushing games of the season in the previous encounters of 52 and 55 yards. Well, you need to have pursuit. You see Sean Lucas right there. Now he gets the corner. But who comes over? 41, Fred Perry. That's what we're talking about. That's the kind of hustle that wins your football games is when your defensive end is the one taking it to the sideline and making the play. Fred Perry, who leads Saskatchewan in tackles, with 48 coming into this game. Like Cameron Wake on the D-line. Two big defensive linemen leading their teams to the charge in tackles. Second and goal from the three in a double tight formation for BC. The pitch outside, Joe Smith in traffic, bulldozing and reaching. Yes, touchdown as he breaks the plane with the football. The touchdown leader in the CFL, Joe Smith with his 14th. Mark, six straight carries. We talked about it again. Nothing fancy. A simple toss to the right side. Get your offense alignment out in front of you and watch the determination. Remember, all you have to do is break the plane of the goal line. He reaches out and does that. Now, McKenzie did not like that call. Anton McKenzie, 42, thought he kept him away from the line. But the official right there. So a challenge to see if, in fact, Joe Smith broke the plane. We saw him last week against the Argos, denied once. Second effort, he stuck it in the end zone as Andre Brew converses with Ken Austin. And I found it interesting that uh, Ken Austin would throw the challenge flag. Is challenging the ruling on the field of a touchdown. We'll review the play. Because last week he was criticized a little bit, Mark, for not throwing a couple of challenges. Even though the game was out of hand, he said he should have still, after he looked at the film, maybe challenged a couple yeah. plays. Let's take a look at this one as you see Joe Smith. He's going to kind of run over. Check. What a great straight arm and it looks like he just got that ball to break the plane Dave Foxcroft the headlinesman was right there and he made the signal immediately and incredible leg strength drive and determination that may, that's what makes great backs and Tom McKenzie hits him thinks he keeps him away from the line but let's take a look at this one more time as he reaches out Good boy, I ain't gonna take your shit from you One more angle. Does his knee touch before he breaks the plane? I don't think the ball got to break the plane. Right there. Uh, I think he broke the plane before his knee went down. Now, Harry, what do you think? Guys, I was right here next to uh, Ken Austin when he uh, looked at it on the big board, and he didn't didn't hesitate. Like you said, uh, he didn't want to go into the same thing a few weeks back and not throw that that flag out there. You never know until you throw the flag. You just have to break the.